Hey guys, Elegant Mess from the Mad Dog Gaming Clan. Uh, today we're going to do a little tutorial on a uh, RF controller for the sound activated LEDs that I have in my case. Uh, I got a couple of requests to go over uh, how I installed it, how I have it set up, and the actual functionality of the unit itself along with the remote. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at it, and uh, hopefully this will help you guys out if you guys are interested in it. Um, I have it posted for the actual model and where I got it from. Uh, the RF controller itself I got from SuperBrightLEDs.com. It was about 30 bucks or so for the controller, and then the actual LEDs that I used, uh, I got a spool from Amazon pretty cheap for like 15 bucks. And uh, that's about it, so we'll go ahead and take a look. So, here let me get this off a little, take a look, okay so, as you can see this is the actual RF controller here, if I can get it to zoom. Um, now the reason that I got this unit in particular Is it has a mic input oh, horrible focus, sorry. It has a mic input right here on the left hand side where there's just a regular microphone and then an actual audio line in cable. Uh, so the regular microphone and then an actual audio in and I have this set up going out of the unit That I have set to a splitter so I can set it between uh, either my headphones or uh, the 5.1 speakers I have and then uh, This is just the sensitivity knob and it's powered by an actual 12 volt power supply that you plug in I have yet to rig it up so it's attached to the power supply itself. Um, just a regular 12 volt power supply. So I just run that out the back side of it and, uh, and plug it in. Uh, this does not come with the unit. So um, if you're interested in getting one, you're going to have to purchase one set. They're, you know, two bucks or something. So it's, it's fairly cheap. Um, now with this controller, I have uh, three different strands of LEDs uh, set up separately to different channels. On the door, on the front window, you can see here, I've got a line going all the way around the, the window. So that would be line one. And then for that, I split it, and I can actually unplug these two right here. I just used two quick disconnects, and then uh, used heat shrink tubing. Uh, once I soldered it together, used heat shrink tubing, which uh, is in one of the other videos I did for how to actually install the unit and set up the LEDs. Uh, the second, sorry, the second strand is behind the motherboard. I don't know if you're really going to be able to get a good look at it. This is the strand that goes up all the way up the motherboard and it goes, uh, it does a complete loop around the back of the motherboard. Uh, now the LED lights that I used um, are waterproofed so they actually have a silicone coating over the outside of them so the uh, the connections on them aren't just completely exposed, so it's sitting against the motherboard, it's not being a problem. So if you're thinking of something of that nature, I would recommend getting the, uh, the waterproof ones. Um, and then the third strand 
I have around the top of the case that goes all the way around it. So those are the, the three strands. So the front one is the left channel. Uh, the top the top one is the right channel and the uh, one behind the motherboard is connected for the base channel and then we'll take a look at the actual back side of the RF controller and uh, see how that's set up okay so for the back of the unit um, this is the top LED coming down and then from there I just uh, brought it down and wrapped it up um, every you know couple of inches just to keep it together and then the RF controller itself I have mounted right on the uh, the hard drive cage but on the back of the controller is where the plug is So, I've got the, uh, the three grounds for each of them tied together. And then each one of these, come on focus, each one of these is a separate line. You can treat it as a separate, um, you, you can treat it as a separate audio line, each one individually. This will control, um, oh, focus is horrible. So each one of these is lines uh, one, two, and three. As I said, for the front, top, and the uh, behind of the motherboard. Uh, you can hook up to seven devices on this um, and then with the remote you can switch between them and you can also use uh, RGB. This is an RGB controller but I have it just set for a solid blue LEDs that I got uh, but you can get RGB LEDs and have you know multiple colors going in a different configuration but depending on how you have it set up with the audio you can't I don't know it, it's kind of tricky but uh, it, it seemed easier just to stick with a single color, but I, I guess you could still do it with uh, with RGB uh, LEDs. So, uh, so yeah, and that's how you do it. And then you just uh, um, there's little screws in it with uh, little plates, and uh, you just loosen them up, and then uh, stick the wire into it and tighten it down. And that's where it makes its contact. So that's how I have those set up to separate each of the audio lines. Um, and as I said, once you, for the line in audio on the front of the unit, once that's plugged in, it'll bypass the mic. So you're not picking up the ambient noise inside of your case, uh, you know, your graphics card, CPU coolers, anything like that, so it's not going to set it off um, as music's playing or if you're playing a game, whatever. Um, so uh, I'll get everything set back up and uh, I'll give you a run through of the remote control and how it actually operates. Alrighty, so we're, uh, we're all back set up. Um, this uh, is the actual remote that comes with it. Uh, pretty simple layout. Just a uh, top one is on and off. Bottom one is the mode. So if we can get a shot of it. On off mode. And then uh, B minus and B plus on the top and S minus and S plus. Uh, the B is for brightness the S on the bottom is for sensitivity to turn those down or up. Uh, this is the user manual that comes with it. That's uh, this is pretty much all they give you. Okay, so this just goes through the different controls 
um, of the remote itself. Um, if you need to pause it, take a look. And uh, and that's the functionality of it. Uh, myself, I only use number 12, the tricolor change audio mode. So there's only two um, audio modes. Uh, 12 and 13 is the tricolor and then seven color changing. So if you have an RGB LED, you can go through and use that. Um, for myself, um, because I'm just running the one color, uh, it seems to give a better effect just on the tricolor mode. So we'll go ahead and, uh, and get a look at how it functions. I'm using some Planetside 2 footage. If you guys haven't seen or played Planet Side 2? Yeah. Oh, there's a galaxy. Hold on. Yeah, I'm trying to take pods out there. Highly recommend it. Yes! That's me blowing up the galaxy. Lots of fun. That game is free to play, so I highly recommend it. If you download it, you don't like it. No loss. It's, you know, it's free. So right now I have it on number 12 for the uh, for the tricolor change audio mode. So we're going to go ahead and switch it to number 13 and as you hit the mode button it just cycles through, you know, one all the way through 13 and then repeats itself. Actually, maybe I did have it on 13 already. Yeah. Yeah, so for myself, all the uh, the first ones, um, like uh, 1 through 7, yeah, 1 through 7 are not going to make a difference for me because I am using just a, a blue LED. There's one, there's two, and you'll see it'll swap because I have it set to different channels, it'll swap to each one activated. I believe that's three, it's four, it's five, six, seven, eight. That's our, gotcha. Which is a tricolor instant change. So you'll see as it just cycles through it. There's still like eight people there. That'll be nine. So I believe this is 10, the uh, tricolor uh, change fading. I got resupply. And this would be the 7 color change fading. So if you had uh, a full RGB set, it would be cycling through all the different colors. And this is back to 12. You've got this. Don't let up. And if you can see... I'll turn off the lights real quick. For the different sounds of audio that come through, it will light up the different uh, LED strips, the three different LED strips that I have set in there. That 
So those are, that's pretty much the uh, the basic operations. You got lightning and a center coming across from the, the bridge. Oh, yeah. This is the uh They're coming, they're coming. The name of the unit. Shit, they got it. Uh which I will have I saw at least two guys in the uh I think he deployed it though. In the description. I got eyes on it. I don't know if you can really see that either. Focus on this camera is horrible, I apologize. Uh but it's the uh L D R F um RGB4A controller with an RF remote, which this is. But once I have this set uh, to the mode that I use, I don't need the remote. So. And as I said, I have it set with a, uh, for the audio line that goes into it, I have that set to a splitter, one for the speakers, one for the headset. So depending on Windows, which one I set to the default uh, playback device, I can switch it over between either one. So if I have the headset on, uh, the lights will still activate. Or if I want to use the speakers, I can use those. So uh, I hope that answers all your questions. If you guys have anything else uh, that you need, feel free to comment. Um, let me know what you think. And, uh, As you see, as soon as you pause it, with it on the uh, sound activation mode, all the sound from the case will not uh, activate it. As I said, with the audio, the direct line of audio input, it'll bypass the microphone completely, so all the fans in the case, so if I turn up all the case fans, it won't set it off. So yeah, that's it. Feel free to uh, like, comment, subscribe, and if you have any more questions, please just let me know. Thanks for watching.